Hi, how are you? My name is Robert, and from now on I thank you for watching this video, in which I am going to introduce you to the Fluke PTI 120 Pocket Thermal Imager. But before continuing, I would like to ask you not to forget to drop a like if you find this video interesting, so that I can program new videos on this topic. And if you want to receive notifications of new videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and review the available videos. The Fluke PTI 120 Pocket Thermal Imaging Camera stands out for its small size, only 12.7 cm wide, 8.9 cm high and 2.5 cm thick. In its front part you can see two lenses, the one to the right is the lens associated with the infrared camera, which has a 120 by 90 pixel sensor that will allow us to take fully radiometric thermographies of objects that are up to 150 degrees Celsius. The thermal imaging camera does not require focus, obtaining perfectly focused images from 22.8 centimeters. The angle of view of the thermal imager is 50 degrees horizontally by 38 degrees vertically, offering an IFOV of 7.6 milli radians and its sensitivity is 60 mK. The lens on the left is the lens associated with a normal digital camera, with a 320 by 240 pixel sensor. This camera does not require focus either. Thanks to Fluke's IR Fusion technology, the camera can combine the infrared image with the visual image to create an image with both infrared and digital information, for which the user can adjust the transparency of the infrared image that is superimposed on the digital one, perfectly aligned pixel by pixel. The transparency of the infrared image can be adjusted from 0 to 100, simply by moving a graphic cursor on the touch screen. Just above the visible light camera is a flashlight for capturing photos with the visible light camera in poorly lit areas. This is very useful if, for example, you have to work in an electrical panel with little light. If we rotate the camera, we can now see the display area of 3.5 inches and 320 by 240 pixels. This display is tactile so we can access the camera menus simply by touching the screen. On the right we can see the green on and off button, and above it, an LED indicator that shows us when the camera has Wi-Fi connectivity activated. If we now see the camera from above, on the right we can see the image capture button. We simply press it to simultaneously capture the infrared image along with the perfectly aligned visual image. On one of the sides, under a small rubber cap there is a mini USB connector. The camera includes a USB cable that will be used to transfer the images to a computer or also to charge the camera's battery by connecting it, for example, to a computer, to the mobile phone charger or to the car's USB connector while traveling. The battery provides a range of over 2 hours and recharges in less than an hour and a half. And just below the USB connector we have the hook for the hand strap, also included with the equipment. Finally, at the bottom we can see the serial number of the camera and other information such as the quality seals. Thanks to Wi-Fi connectivity, the camera can be paired with a mobile phone with the free Fluke Connect app, with which you can edit images and even create a report in the field. You can also use SmartView software and Fluke Connect desktop software on a computer to edit and create reports. Thanks to its pocket size, technicians can carry this thermal imager with them all the time, while doing other maintenance tasks to be able to do a basic thermographic inspection. For this reason, the camera has been designed with a degree of protection IP54 and withstands drops from a height of 1 meter. And so, we have reached the end of this presentation. And as I mentioned at the beginning, if this video has been interesting for you, don't forget to drop a like so that I can know that you liked it and program new videos on this topic. In the next video about the PTI 120 infrared camera, I will show its menus and functions, so, if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. Please, do not hesitate to send me your suggestions for new videos. Thank you very much for watching this video, see you soon.